Our first guest this morning is talking about the recent figures and the update on COVID-19 in Nigeria. Technology does have a mind of its own. Uh, we're joined by Dr. Courage Onhuango, consultant rheumatologist, Joss University Teaching Hospital. Uh, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you very much for having me. So Nigeria's coronavirus cases has increased to 782. Please help us understand. There's been a lockdown in place for the 14 days incubation period, as we've been told. That has become, I mean, it's been more than 14 days already. Why do we still have surge? Okay, so thanks for that. That's a very good question. Um, the last time we we're talking about uh, community transmission, so this is one of the imports of that, okay? Because the fact that um, there's there's lot of the interaction between people, and for those who already have it, it only gave opportunity for it to become uh, manifest. So it may not, it may not one be that they were infected during the lockdown, okay, but locking them down within 14 days, then the, the disease had the opportunity to come up so that what was inside is not, is not obvious. That's on the one hand. And then on the other hand also is that Uh, uh, there may have been lockdown, but you also you have been locked down all the 14 days. There's always been that interval of uh, of easing up and allowing people to uh, come out, and that also is gives room for you know people rush out and trying to stock up, and you know the idea of social distancing is lost in the process. You know, so these things are not. Um, Hello, doctor. They are not happier than what we would have had if the lockdown was not in place. So now we are talking about 700 and, you know, um, something. But if there was no lockdown, we probably would be in the range of thousands, you know, because that means that there's free movement of the virus in the community. So what you have done by putting a lockdown in place is to try and li limit okay, the extent of transmission between individuals. So uh, people are becoming really antsy about this lockdown. Some are losing their patience. Some are saying there must be another way, especially considering all the consequences of that complete lockdown um, that's already in place in almost all states of the um, uh, country. Um, what other options do you think government might explore at this time and maybe reconsider the lockdown as an option? Doctor, did you get my question? I must recognize that this, this are not... Yeah, so what are you asking? What other options government can resort to? Yes, as against the use of lockdown. There are talks about face masks. Oh, total lockdown. Way. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so these are not easy, easy, easy uh, decisions to make, um, you know, because there's no way you can lock people down, you know, for so long. Um, the human mind, the human body cannot handle uh, being in prison for that long. Okay. Um, so now we have other options, like you mentioned, the face mask, social distancing, hand washing, and all the other things that have been talked about. Um, but all of them have to work together, you know, to be able to help us mitigate this effect. There's also the issue of uh, uh, head, head immunity. That's to say that as people interact, uh, Hello, Dr. Courage. You know, the people will recover. Okay. Hello. Hello. Um, the network is a bit shaky this morning, but let's continue to plow on. Um, the federal government yeah. is currently working towards ensuring that 3,500 tests are carried out daily. It plans to achieve the new figure from the current 2,500 that's been done per day within a timeline of 30 days. Is this good enough for you or can they truly speed it up? 
Uh, it's a good improvement from where we are currently. Uh, kudos to NCDC. This is, is a lot of work. And, you know, the, the issues with testing is that there are a lot of technicalities involved. This is not like doing malaria tests where you just, you know, buy uh, a strip or take your blood sample and you get it. Okay. And even the, 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 the things that government need to carry out this. Technology certainly has a man of its own, but we'll stay yes. with him. They are not readily available. You know, and they are competing countries, okay, who are okay, so the competition is high. And so moving up from, you know, less than a thousand to a thousand five and to three three thousand, that's good progress. That's good progress. I know that Nigeria is said to be low in the amount of tests we are doing compared to even other African countries. But I think that, you know, as we make progress, you know, even that three thousand is just a start. Okay, it, it will still it will still increase. It will get better, and in, it's hoped that you know somewhere down the line uh, there will be a population survey. You know where everybody you know who wants to be tested can be tested. You know just to allow um, the NCDC and the health sector to get to know more about this infection.